Hello everyone, it is this time again, the monthly wrap up. I cannot believe how quickly April has gone past, um, and but still quite a lot has happened and, um, and yeah, let's just get started. So first up, um, let's do some just general reflection. Um, I just... Like I said, a lot has happened in, in April, I feel. I've made a new friend. Um, we did uh, have contact before April, but I feel like um, our friendship has uh, grown a lot this month. Um, so I just want to say hi to Krista from Adventures from of Metaphysics. Um, I'm really enjoying our conversations. And um, so that's one thing from this month that I'm really um, happy about. Um, another thing is I had uh, Corona uh, about a week ago now. Um, had it was down and out of, you know, just sitting at home for over a week. Um, luckily, I just had a very mild version of it, so. I'm very lucky in that regard, um, but I do feel, you know, lucky as well that I, I was able to stay at home from work and and um, nothing nothing really bad happened. And now I feel like I've got extra protection. I mean, I already had three vaccines. Uh, vaccine jabs um, so I think that's probably why it was so mild as well but anyway so um, what else can I tell you that's completely just looking back on this month well I um, have also been um, been uh, crocheting a lot so I'm going to be showing you my uh, new tarot crafts in a little bit. I've been um, coming up with a, lot, a bunch of new designs and uh, having a lot, lot of fun with it. Um, so that's, that's uh, been filling up most of my spare time uh, in April. Um, other than that, I mean, we had a lot of snow in the beginning of April. We Everything had melted away by the end of March. Um, and everything was starting to, you know, wake up a little bit. We had uh, spring birds twittering in the trees and we had, you know, warmer winds and everything and people were starting to really gear up for spring. And then all of a sudden we got like 20, 30 centimeters of snow and it just kept on snowing and hailing and there was winds and... And then rain every now and then. So we got like two weeks in April of just sleet and snow and miserableness. <laughs> and we were quite fed up by that point. We were feeling like, come on, just give up already. <laughs> Let us go into spring. Um, and then mid-April, everything started melting away again. And we had a couple of really warm days with about plus 10, plus 15 degrees. This week, now again, we've had really cold winds, um, and today we did see uh, like just a few trickles of snowflakes. And I know that we're probably not going to get any more snow that actually sticks on the ground anymore this year. But um, but yeah, um, you know, for a, for a while there, we were just very very fed up with the weather. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, other things that I've been thinking about and, and working a lot with this month is the new um, like deep deck study series that I'm doing at the moment of the uh, Forest of Enchantment Tarot. So if you've if this is the first video video you see of me, um, welcome, first of all. But also, I have this little series that I'm doing, and I'll link that up here in the cards. Um, and I am basically deep diving into this deck, the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. Um, we have um, 
so far there's only been two episodes. Uh, the third episode is actually premiering on Saturday, um, when I am, well, today, I, I'm planning on releasing this. No, actually, yes. So the third episode will have released, it's premiering on Saturday, and I'm planning on releasing this on Sunday. So, um, yeah, and we, in, in, in this, um, in this series, we are just going through um, about five cards at a time. We're probably going to increase or decrease some videos. Um, and we are just going through each card one by one, uh, reading through the guidebook and comparing it to the Rider Waite Smith and uh, just discussing the cards um, and the interpretations and the different approach that they've taken in uh, these cards. So if you're interested in that, if that sounds interesting, then please go ahead and save that playlist that I've linked for you and um, come and participate. I'm really hoping that it will turn into a, a really good resource for pe where people can meet up and discuss the cards um, and... Um, and just uh, develop a, a sense of different perspectives of this deck. So, that's the the series that I'm doing that's called Exploring the Enchanted Forest. Um, another thing that I've been working on um, a bit behind the scenes, if you follow me on inst Instagram, you will have um, seen a bit of uh, murmur about this, but I am planning on opening uh, an online shop to sell my my uh, crochet bags and other things my tarot crafty things and um, yeah that's been occupying a lot of my time lately just reading up on what I need to do how taxes and such work when I'm just doing it as a hobby and um, also um, like trying to figure out a shop name. Oh my gosh, I am so annoyed with myself at this point because I'm not happy with anything or I find a name that I'm really happy with and I decide to go with this and then it's not available. <laughs> so um, Krista, you will know uh, and she could tell you how annoying I have been <laughs> about uh, this whole thing. Um, but anyway, next category is new decks in my collection. Oh, I've had a bit of a spending month, so we have uh, quite a few to get through. Um, well, rather, a few of these I bought uh, a few months ago, um, and they just didn't uh, arrive quickly enough to, you know, get featured in my previous video. My previous wrap-up video, I mean. And, um, and well, part of what I mean is I, I ordered these, some of them already in, in May or even uh, February. No, sorry, March. <laughs> I ordered some of these um, already back in May or March. Um, and some of them I've ordered this month. But all of them arrived in April. So here we go. The first one I want to show you is the one I got yesterday <laughs> and that's the illustrated bestiary bestiary oracle cards by Maya Toll. I wanted this deck so badly because I have the herbiary but uh, and I wanted to combine them and then to my big disappointment yesterday, I noticed that these cards are bigger than the ones that I, the Herbiary deck I have, because the Herbiary deck I have is from the collectible box set. Um, so I'm now I have to basically either return this and buy the box set of the Bestiary, or try and sell on the Herbiary, herbiary and buy the illustrated herbiary in this little um, oracle deck size. 
um, or the bigger oracle deck size. I haven't opened this yet, it's still in its wrapping because I got it yesterday and I wanted to do an unboxing. Um, but since my um, partner is away this evening and I know that um, this <laughs> video is going to take a while to make, I decided to um, seize the moment and do the wrap up video tonight. So, the Illustrated Bestiary um, is coming up in my first impressions uh, videos in a few days. Oops. Another deck that I got um, is actually... I've already filmed the first impressions but I haven't published it yet and it's the... It is the Earth Angels message cards by Amanda Clark. So, um, this deck is an affirmation deck and it's got affirmations uh, on the back and artwork with a keyword on the front. The artwork by Amanda Clark is absolutely beautiful in every way and um, I've followed Amanda Clark on Instagram for a few years and always thought that her artwork would lend itself uh, to an, a deck of some kind, an oracle deck. Um, my first impressions and opinions, you can see that in my video that I am posting in a couple of days. I will link that up here uh, once it's published as well. But yeah, this deck is very sweet. I haven't had the time to work with it much yet because it only arrived a few days ago um, and I've only just filmed that uh, first impressions slash unboxing video. Um, I have a few... Um, I have a few hesitations about it. Um, and I know that I got a bit emotional in the video. <laughs> I am hoping that I will be able to work with this soon so that I can form an actual opinion about this deck and then I will prob probably do some kind of um, recall video or something, I don't know. Anyway, so that's the Earth Angels mess message cards by Amanda Clark. Very nice um, sturdy card stock and um, very nice size as well. All right, next up is also brand new. Um, received this in the post the day before yesterday. And it's The Witch's Wisdom Tarot. Um, I've only had a chance to pull one, one card from this deck yet and I got the Eight of Air. And um, yeah, it's... Um, a gorgeous deck. I've I've only filmed a first impressions and unboxing um, yesterday, actually, of this deck, and um, that one will also be coming up very soon. I have a few <laughs> a few videos um, just waiting to get edited at the moment. Uh, I haven't had the chance to edit them yet. I've been having troubles with my um, phone and the storage, and oh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But anyway, this um, deck, I'm a bit scared of it. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, worried that I'm not going to be able to read with it. But I think that I'm going to be leaning heavily into the guidebook for this one. And the guidebook seems to be really lovely. So um, with, with luck and with some hard work, I think that me and this deck are going to agree and... Um, you know, get along very well. And the artwork is stunning. I love everything about the artwork. It's so good. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how the actual system grows on me. If it's something that I feel that I can work with or... Oh, the bear, the bear, the bear. <laughs> or if... Um, or if it's just something. Because, I mean, for this, for me, this, for example, says rest because they're uh, sleeping over winter. Um, but two of earth, two of pentacles usually for me means balance. Um, balancing different um, tasks. And um, yeah. So um, I'm going to have a, a 
difficult time stepping away from the, you know, all of the Rider Waite Smith meanings that I've got etched in my brain. Um, so, yeah, oh, this card, I love this card. So beautiful. So that's the Witch's Wisdom Tarot. I want to say Oracle all the time because I know there's an Oracle deck with the same name. Uh, the Witch's Wisdom Tarot. Um, and uh, cannot wait to, to get more into this deck. Next up is another deck that I had in my wishlist video um, that I caved in on and got anyway. And that is the Chrysalis Tarot. Both the Chrysalis Tarot and the Witch's Wisdom Tarot came um, in, at the same time in the same parcel. Um, so yes, I was experiencing a bit of deck overwhelm the other day. Um, this deck is, from, is made by by uh, Holly Sierra and Tony Brooks and I am in love with this artwork but again this is another tarot system that completely just strays from the traditional um, Rider Waite Smith that I am used to so um, this is going to require some deep deck study and I think that if I um, have the you know inclination and the time to do so i will be doing a deck study video of this deck and also the witch's wisdom tarot the same kind of series that i'm doing with the forest of enchantment at the moment but that's uh, some ways away because we're still uh well we've we've basically reached halfway in the major arcana of the enchanted sorry the forest of enchantments and i, th I reckon we're gonna have a few um, a few quite a few weeks yet before we're done with um, the forest of enchantment but yes the chrysalis tarot strays even f like a lot a lot away from the um, traditional meanings that i'm used to so um but the artwork just takes me in so much and i just feel like i need to get to know this deck and i said before i bought it as well if i end up not being able to read with this deck at all then i'm probably just going to cut off all of the borders and uh, just create an oracle deck write keywords in on my own from the guidebook or something and uh, just make make a completely different deck for myself just get rid of all of the the tarot uh, speak because um, if it's i think that's that's my that might be what's trip what will trip me up if i just created it as if i just looked at it as an oracle instead i think it would work much better but like i said i haven't worked with it as a tarot yet so i'm just going to have to wait and see <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are the backs, by the way. I, I realize I've completely missed um, showing you the backs on most of the decks that I've just shown you. But like I said, I have been filming um, first impressions, unboxings of all of these um, stuff, and they are they will be released very soon on my channel. Uh, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. <laughs> I hate I hate plugging my my channel. I'm so bad at it, but I hope that you will excuse me. Um, so that was the Chrysalis Tarot, and that's also brand spanking new. Uh, have not had a chance to work with it yet. Um, next up uh, is one of my um, dream decks that arrived. I splurged a lot. To get this in and it's the first edition of the gentle tarot um i i adore this deck so much i have yes it arrived this month and i've been working with it um quite a lot since it arrived and it's just 
Mari in the sky, if you're watching this, you already know how I feel about your deck because I've, I've told you so many times in the, on my Instagram account that, yes, Mari, this is a fabulous deck. I love it so much. I am eager to get the big, get my hands on the big guidebook that's coming out. I would, I will probably also get the linen edition or the pocket edition. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I just, I just love everything, everything about this deck. It just makes me feel so, oh, this card, look at the bear. You know me and bears by now. Look at the bear. He, she is everything. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm not going to go on too much. I've made a, um video about this um, deck already that's up on my channel, link up here, um, where I did a first impressions, long first impressions deep dive of this deck. Yeah, so that was the Gentle Tarot by Mari in the Sky and next up I have two more decks that arrived two more decks that arrived uh, this month um, and the next one I'm going to show you is the Heart Spun Tarot. This one also arrived just uh, like on the same day as, oops, on the same day as the Witch's Wisdom and this ch the Chrysalis Tarot. And this is a deck that I have been pining over for months and months and months on Etsy. I bought this deck. Um, it's been. It's taken about a month to get to me. Um, I bought it a while ago um, for uh, with the with a gift card that I received for Christmas, actually. Um, and I I uh, had been sitting on that gift card for ages, thinking what I should spend it on, and I spent it on this and one more item. Um, this I spent it also on this um, beautiful necklace that I've been wearing basically every day since it arrived. It's by this um, the really lovely um, Spanish jewelry maker, uh, also on Etsy, and uh, I can't remember the name of the shop now, but I will link it down below for you. Um, but yeah, back to the decks. Um, this is the Hearts Pantero by Erin Haldane. Yes, Erin Haldane. And um, uh, this has been on my wish list for a while. This one was also on my wish list video for April. Um, and uh, Erin's artwork is so soft and sweet and I also filmed a first impressions uh, walkthrough of this um, that's coming up very soon on the video um, as soon as I've edited it but yes Erin's artwork it's just I mean it's it's a it's a plain uh, Rider or a straightforward Rider Waite Smith clone but the artwork in this just speaks straight to my heart. I love it. Look at this. Oh, it's just. I adore the water, uh, the watercolor art. I adore that it's animals, um, instead of humans. I I just I love the 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 humor in it as well <laughs> the sheep as the hierophant and um, and I just I sang the praises of this deck so much in my in my walkthrough that I'm having a difficult time expressing myself right now I haven't had a time a chance to work with this yet deck yet um but like you, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. And my gosh, look at this King of Pentacles. Isn't he just everything? He's just so, so beautiful. Uh, let's see if I can find my absolute very favorite 
Oh, look at the page, this page of swords. Love, love, love. Oh, look at this four of swords. Oh, the sword suit is just so good. And then we've got... Oh, let me have a look here now. I'm look, trying to... Oh, this is a funny card and you will probably <laughs> i won't i won't spoil the video that i'm posting very soon um this empress beautiful love 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 everything i love this card and this this is my favorite card this star card oh yes anyway um adore 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 this deck it's the perfect size for my little hands i love the backs i love the artwork it's just you know home run home run love it so much all right last but not least um is a deck that i've already also filmed and posted a walkthrough of and that is the woodland wardens oracle um Pre I pre-ordered this as soon as it was available for pre-order um, because I could just tell this deck had to be mine from the very few pictures that we saw. Um, and this deck I saved for last because I wanted it to be a nice segue into um, the modded tarot decks of this month. Um, so this deck I have modded, I cut off about two or two to four millimeters uh, around each, around all of the sides uh, to decrease the white border quite drastically. The borders were very, very thick on this and um, some of the cards arrived damaged in the box for me, um, which was a big bummer. Um, I complained quite a lot about the cardstock in my re review video, or my first impressions video. Um, the cardstock is still not my favorite. I love, I love the feel of it. I love the, like the, the actual text, tech, tactile feeling I get from the cards. That's perfectly fine. It's just the durability of it, because I was reading with this deck and was trying to put it away and for some reason it fell and it just kind of it, I was or I was shuffling and a few that's it I was shuffling and a few cards just jumped out of my hands as they do quite often for me because um, of how I shuffle and just a few of them just f toppled to the table not even the floor the table as I was sitting just like this and it just went to the table like this and the edges of the cards were like crumpled, like like split almost in half. I'm I'm not pleased with the with this um, cardstock at all. I've never had any deck, uh, you know, get damaged just from you know a few jumper cards. Um, luckily, I managed to smooth them out so that it's not too visible, but you can still see that one there. The spider and passion flower one. I don't know if it's the if the camera is gonna pick that up. Right there. No. I managed to smooth it out pretty well, but there it is. It is there. You can see it and feel it in person. That's where the card landed on the. On the table so yeah but otherwise this deck I mean come on it's so beautiful and I love love the keywords it's you know nine and a half out of ten it would be ten if the cardstock was more durable just saying just saying but I love it nonetheless I love it nonetheless, uh, so that's why it's getting such a high score, even if, even if the cardstock annoys me. I'm just really scared of using it because I love the I love this uh, this stick so much, and I'm scared to use it because I don't want to I don't want to hurt it. Um, so yeah, Woodland Wardens um, was the last 
new deck that I wanted to show you and the first modded deck that I wanted to show you. I still haven't edged it because I haven't decided on what color to edge it with. Um, I might be going with the antique linen um, distressed ink pad, uh, the same that I've used for um, edging my earthbound oracle. It gives it this kind of antique -y, uh, kind of wooden stained look and I thought that would go really well with the backs as well as the edge of the white borders because I wouldn't want to edge it like dark green in case of it in case it bleeds over into the white borders so I think the antique linen would be absolutely perfect for this deck right 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 the next I only have one more deck mod can you believe it <laughs> I've been um, I haven't been modding to, so very much this month, um, but I only ha so I only have one more deck mod to show you, and that is the deck mod that I made for the mass market version of the Anna K tarot. So the Anna K, I have both the indie version and the mass market, and I wasn't gonna. I at first I thought I wasn't gonna, uh, you know, touch the mass market version at all. But the more I used it, the more I felt like I really liked the mass market uh, version a little bit better than the indie version, actually. Not, I mean, the cardstock is flimsy as heck, and I don't like it very much. Um, it, you know, starts chipping quite easily in the edges. That's why I didn't want to... Um, cut it in the first place but with that said um, the artwork in the mass market version has been brightened and sharpened a bit and the saturation is higher um, so I feel like the artwork is easier to see uh, in the mass market version because they're also a little bit bigger um, the indie version is a slightly subdued like the the artwork is ever so slightly blurry as well and um, it just you know annoyed my eyes um, so I decided to cut this one down to, to to fit my hands a bit better and I really love the way it turned out I love that it's borderless now and um, I really like the color that I chose for the edging as well to go with the with the trees on the back. It's like this uh, dirty golden yellow type color, almost mustardy. So um, this deck mod is uh, one that I'm really, really pleased with. Yeah. And uh, since I had been modding this deck I felt like I also needed to make it a new pouch because the old pouch that I made for it was way too big now it was swimming in it um, which is a shame because that deck that 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 uh, pouch that I made for that deck or for this deck I mean um, was a really gorgeous black velvet pouch with a brown brown uh, linen lining and um, and I spent a lot of time on that deck bag um, because my the when before I cut the borders off, uh, I had edged the anake in a dark brown, um, which I really loved as well. I really liked that the look of that. But um, yes, so after I had cut off the borders and edged it in this um, mustardy pale, dirty yellow. I decided I needed a new bag, so I ended up making, designing and making this sunflower uh, bag for it. Um, this was the very first one that I made. I uh, need. I was exploring new stitches because um, the bag I made for the for the 
guy and tarot is made by double crochet, crochet stitches here and it just creates this very um, loose fabric that has quite a lot of holes in it as you can see it doesn't really uh, matter much with this deck it's it works fine with the guy and tarot but i for the little for the for the anake i wanted a bit more sturdier fabric so i decided to go with with this um, stitch instead which creates a much thicker fabric with basically no holes in it um and i um, also took me a while to uh, design the lid for this bag it ripped it up so many times so i'm gonna tell you now uh, but I enjoyed every step in, of the way and uh, decided to write down the steps. And um, like I said, or some of you might have heard, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you will know that there have been some murmurations around my bags and I have decided to open up a little shop. Um, so I guess this is the official... The official announcement <laughs> that I am opening up a little online shop um, in order to make and sell some of my bags uh, as a hobby purely um, but yes I made this bag for the Anna K I made it extra snug because the cards are so fragile I wanted it to be um, really really uh, snugly tucked in there and um, yeah wanted it to be um, well taken care of in this in its bag and uh, uh, this bag got a lot of love on Instagram so um, I decided to make um, a better version of it um, so I went ahead and and made another one um, with some improvements um, I straightened up a few stitches here and there designed a buttonhole type thing here so that it's easier to open and close and um, yeah made it in a um, standard tarot deck size um, this one so I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit and try and find ways to make um, uh, bigger sizes and smaller sizes for all kinds of decks um, and and such now the shop is all in you know uh, it's it's kind of <laughs> all in progress still I don't know where I'm gonna open it if it's gonna be Etsy or Ko-Fi or, or coffee however you want to say it or if I'm where Shopify or wherever I'm gonna put it I have no idea yet and um, if you have any suggestions or tips at all please let me know down below I will appreciate you forever um, but anyway um, so I've been uh, making a lot of crochet bags and these uh, sunflower one was one of uh, one of the designs that I came up with this month. Um, another one that I made uh, was when I needed a bag for the gentle tarot. This was the bag I made for the gentle tarot at first and um, it is beautiful. I took ages trying to find <laughs> the right... Um, colors that I wanted to do and I even asked the deck for what colors it wanted me to make it its bag in and I I got the one of the salmon cards which were basically had th these these two exact colors in it so and these two were the colors that I had been thinking about anyway um let's see where it is now do, 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 do. Go. there it is this is the card I drew um, so as you can see it wanted the same things that I did so um, but anyway I ended up um, 
using this bag for a little while and deciding now this was not the bag for the gentle sarah um i felt that it, i had first of all i had made it a tiny bit too small it's a bit too tight um i didn't want it this tight and i had used that same stitch that i had made for the um Guyan tarot and it's it's got way too many holes in it so um i decided that i'm gonna either unravel this and make another bag out of it um or uh, use it for a different different deck um, and instead i made this bag so this one is made with a much thicker stitch and it's got this little little button loop there and it's roomy and and uh, fits this deck really nicely really well there and i i kind of like it the simplicity of this pouch as well it's not too too much and um I just really like how the this color just shows off the texture of this stitch. So this is another uh, deck design that I made this month. Um, the next deck bag I want to show you is a drawstring pouch that I designed as well. Um, and this one is currently housing the the earth angels message cards i i put it in here because because i didn't have any other pouch to put it in um so but yeah this bag took me um a bit of, of thinking as well i was learning how to make appliques and i made this little moon and i wanted to put it on a bag so i had to make a bag for it and this um this yarn here is made from recycled jeans uh denim so um i really like the the ecolo the ecological uh, aspect of of this yarn and um yeah really happy with how this one turned out um so happy in fact that i made another drawstring bag in this gr lovely green um yarn um, and then I also made like a little leaf applique and two small leaves to go on the end of the tassels. Um, I would show it to you, but I'm going to insert a picture instead um, because I've given this bag away already. So I don't have it here, but I will show you uh, a picture here. And so, yeah, I put these little leaves uh, on the end of the tassels and I um, attached the like this birch leaf applique that I made um, on the front of the bag. And I'm really happy with this design. Um, I love this this um, leaf bag so much. I'm going to be making a few of those um, and probably doing some improvements as I do more and more of them as well. Um, hoping that I'm going to be able to get some more of the yarn because I used up all of the dark green yarn making that this bag so um yeah um really really enjoying deck, uh, tarot and oracle deck bag uh, designings right now um it's uh, kind of uh, the, one of the only things I want to do in the evenings when I get home is just to either sit and listen to an audiobook or watch a TV show or something while I'm working away in my little chair. So that now we've gone through new decks, we've gone through deck mods and we've gone through my tarot crafts for the month and we've done memories. Um, what else do I have on my list here? Yes, I've got the new wish lists decks. So there are some decks that I have been looking at um, and added to my preliminary wish list. This is not a list that um, of decks that I'm planning to buy uh, by any means. It's uh, basically just 
a list that I'm keeping to keep an eye on and to remember the decks that caught my, catch my eye and that I might want to add to my collection in the future. So the first deck I want to show you that's new to my wish list is the Rosebud Tarot. And um, this deck just... Uh, the full card was the one that just really drew me in about this deck. It's a collage deck. I'm not a big fan of collage decks, or I don't really have many of them because they they most of mostly they don't uh, appeal to me. But there's something about this artwork, the combination of the black and white and the color, and and um, I just there's something very gentle and. Um, and sweet about this deck. So uh, the Rosebud Tarot is new on my list. Another one, the next one on my list um, that's new is the El Goliath Tarot. Now this deck has been on and off my wish list uh, for a long time. I put it on and then I decide against it uh, and then I put it back on again and then I decide to to uh, anti-haul it as, as uh, to use a term from Lisa Papes. I've anti-hauled this deck so many times, uh, but it still keeps creeping back onto my list. So I feel like I feel like maybe I should give it a chance. However, it's expensive, it's far away, and the shipping to Finland would be extortionate. So um, it will probably keep jumping off and on my wish list for some time until maybe one day I will be able to get my hands on it. Um, from in a European retailer or something. Um, another deck that's new on my wish list is the Magical Herb Oracle. Now, um, this one I got turned on to by uh, the Bo uh, Dawn Michelle from Boho Tarot. There was one of her uh, videos that I watched and I saw her using this deck and I just thought, this deck is so pretty. And it's so good looking and it would go so well with so many of my decks. I really, really want this Oracle. So, I mean, it's a mass market deck. It's inexpensive. I will probably get it at some point. But at the moment, like you just saw, I've been buying so many decks lately. I, and I have a few more that's still coming in that haven't arrived yet. So, um, I am... I am putting the Magical Herb Oracle off for a bit. I am waiting, waiting with that. And it's going to stay on my wish list um, or go away from my wish list if that's what happens. Now, oh, the next deck that I really, really want that's on my wish list is Danny Mystic's uh, Mystic Masters, the second edition. Danny Mystic has released a second edition of her uh, Mystic Masters Tarot and it's up on game, um, sorry, makeplayingcards.com and I know that I will get this deck eventually. Um, at the moment though, I need to wait. Um, but there's no rush because the deck is on make playing cards, so I can just order it whenever I whenever I want to. Um, but yes, my friend Krista got this deck um, and has been showing me a bunch of pictures of it. And I just sit there thinking, oh, I want this deck so bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, Mystic Masters by Danny Mystic. Mm, definitely up high on the wish list, so to speak. Another deck that Krista made me want is the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud. Now, um, I've had this deck on and off my wishlist. It's kind of like my El Goliath tarot uh, wishlist. <laughs> it's been going, coming, I've had it on my wishlist and then it's take, been anti-hold and then I've put it back on my wishlist. Um, I've felt, I mean, at first, the first time I saw it was through Danny Mystic's uh, videos and she's spoken so much about it and she loves it so much and I wanted to give it a chance and then I decided against it and so I thought no I'm not I'm not really a fairy fairy person I've have no interest really um, and then I've had spikes of interest and I <sighs> 
put it back on my wish list and um, then it got back off and then Krista got it and she's been using it and she's gotten really well good readings from it and um, and yeah now I feel like now it's back on my wish list and it's been in my car a couple of times and then I've taken it off and thought no there's no rush there's no rush it's not going anywhere um so maybe next month <laughs> I don't know maybe by next month I will have um you know thought of other other things instead um now the next one I know that I'm gonna get but it's not gonna be available for a long long time so I'm not fretting about it and that is the latest news coming to the new to the tarot world which broke uh was it yesterday or the day before and that is that lisa hunt's fairy tale uh, tarot is being reprinted by us games yes so um i've wanted this deck ever since i found out about it a few years back and it's been out of print forever and it's been ridiculously expensive to buy second hand and i've just basically i had basically just decided and given up and just gotten to grips with the fact that i would never ever get this deck this was not a deck that was meant for me and then it just happens that us games is going to reprint this deck and i am over the moon i am so so happy about this um so lisa hunt's fairy tale tarot definitely coming into my collection uh put it on my wish list just so that i won't forget about it <laughs> um another deck that's on my wish list that's new uh, a new um it's a new um discovery um and this deck is not out yet either, and it's the Tarot of Oneness. Um, I've I've started following the creator on Instagram this month, and uh, the deck looks absolutely fantastic. It's going to be releasing on Kickstarter pretty soon, I think. I am, I'm gonna Google and find out what date, and I'm gonna put it here right now. Um, so that one i am following and getting ready to back as soon as it's available um and the last one that's new on my wish list is another deck that's it's a maybe deck and it's the victorian fairy tarot now i know what you're gonna say this is basically the same thing as the lisa hunt's fairy tale tarot it, victorian fairy tarot is out of print um from what i've seen and um um can be a bit difficult to get a hold of um i've seen some fake uh decks floating around on the internet on amazon and such and um i am not buying one of those so i've kind of decided uh, okay back up a little bit the reason why i put victoria the victoria fairy tarot on my list is because uh krista from adventures in metaphysics uh gave me uh tarot reading um with this deck and the the reading was absolutely fabulous and i loved it so much i really did recommend you getting a reading from her she's just put uh, tarot readings up on her etsy shop um which i'm going to link down in the description um it's called cro um crochet witch wears i think um but anyway, she gave me this uh, really fabulous uh, reading with this deck and I was just like, I, I want this deck now. I want this deck now because, <laughs> because I just felt like it was such a lovely deck and it gave such a lovely reading and and Krista picked it out completely, well, purely based on the, the intuition that she got and she felt that this deck really had the kind of similar energy to what she's been picking up from me so i i just f immediately started feeling really drawn to this deck and um so the victorian fairy tarot is now on my wish list but it's probably going to be one of those where i think where i'm like i'm not going to hunt it down if it's meant to be for me then it's going to turn up it's going to the, the opportunity is going to present itself um so yeah that's the new wish list items um and now 
Now, now, now. The decks that I've worked with this month is the next category. And um, the ones I've worked with most is the Gentle Tarot that I've already shown you. It's also the Forest of Enchantment Tarot that I've already shown you. I've also worked mostly with the Seed and Sickle Oracle, which is the another uh, a, a deck that I showed you uh, in my l last um, month's wrap-up video. But I will show you a little bit again. And the last deck that I've worked with mostly this month is the Majestic Earth Tarot. So, um, since all the others are tarot, and this is the oracle, I'm going to quickly just talk about this. Um, so, the Seed and Sickle has been my friend the last two months. I really like the artwork in this. Um, I adore the guidebooks. I'm really starting to bond with it. I've edged it in this matching bluish-green colour to go with the backs and uh, this deck just gives me such poignant and wonderful readings every time I pick it up so it's becoming a fast favorite of mine and the last card that I drew from it is this tulip card which basically uh, helped me decide to actually open my uh, shop so this is sitting on my um, on my altar at the moment and it's probably going to sit there until my shop has opened and it's become a reality just to remind me um, just to remind me that I can do things that I want to do so this is the seed and sickle love this card and um, it's been my favorite oracle this month except for the woodland wardens um but <laughs> i just said that the seed and sickle was the only oracle but i just remembered i've also been using the woodland wardens uh <laughs> never mind never mind never mind um the reason why I forgot, I, I don't know how I could forget about the uh, Woodland Wardens. I've shown it already and I've showed it to you in the, in two categories already. But I'm going to show you um, just, I've been uh, pairing this deck actually a lot with the Majestic Earth Tarot this month. So that's how I've been using it. I haven't been pulling cards just from for 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 or from this deck on its own. I've been pairing it with the with the Majestic Earth Tarot. And I'm just gonna show you how pretty these look together because I really like this combination or this pairing. Let's move some stuff around. So I, I just, I know that the artwork is not quite uh, the same, but it's still kind of um, old timey and uh, like, and I just kind of like that there we have these landscapes, right? Uh, almost all, some of them are almost em empty landscapes most of the times. And then we have these, this animal and plant energy that, that you can combine with, uh, with this tarot. So I really like the combina combinations you can get with this deck. It's um, just so pretty. I really, really like how these look together. Yeah, do you see it? <laughs> so I'm not going to take up much more of that. Uh, but anyway, so now when, now when I've got the mass, um, mm, Majestic Earth out, anyway, I'm going to show 
show it to you, we'll talk a little bit about it. So the Majestic Earth I've been using, I got the Majestic Earth um, a few months ago through a, a really, really um, fabulous trade. And I was just so incredibly pleased with this trade and and um, I can still can't believe my luck really this deck has been out of print for forever and um, it's really expensive when you want to try and buy it um, and yeah getting it in a trade was just a complete stroke of luck and this was also one of those decks that had been on my wish list for ages and I had just said it's on my wish list and if it's going to happen it will happen I'm not going to hunt it down and it happened so yeah really pleased with it have not had the chance to work much with it yet just because I'm studying other decks at the moment um, but yes I have been doing some readings together with the Majestic Earth this month, uh, with the Majestic Earth and the Woodland Wardens this month. So that was that, and then I have already shown you the deck I've worked with the most, and that's the Gentle Tarot. So the deck I've worked with the most is the Gentle Tarot, and it's also my favorite deck of the month think yeah it definitely is now the deck i will be working with mostly for the next month is we already know that's going to be the enchanted forest or the forest of enchantment tarot um so um it's not going to be much of a surprise next month <laughs> but um I really, uh, really do adore this deck and I'm hoping to build a, a much stronger relationship with it through this deck study. So that's that. Now, do I have anything more that I want to mention? I do have one random thing that I want to tell you and share with you and that I didn't know where else to squeeze it in but at the end. But the one thing, there's one thing that uh, has been uh, <laughs> catching my attention on YouTube lately and that is these loads and loads of videos of wood turning videos. I've been binging <laughs> or at least watching three or four a day um, of these amazing um, craftsmen and uh, and artists that use uh, lathes and uh, resin and wood and all kinds of weird stuff to uh, do some wood turning and they they come up with the most fantastic looking things and you and most some of them also have it as a challenge to basically just wood turn um, any the weirdest materials they can find. So um, that's just one thing that's been entertaining me this month um, and helping me relax when I get home. I just sit and watch a wood turning video and I just feel kind of relaxed and everything's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link a couple of my favorite ones um, for you if you're interested at all. That was just this random note that I wanted to end the video with. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my random ramblings uh, and wrap up of the month of April. Um, so yeah, uh, please let me know what you thought about um, all of my new decks. Jeez, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. I know I'm lucky and I, I know I'm, I'm spoiling myself a little bit. And you know, first world problems when you start getting anxiety because you have too many decks coming in at the one at once. Because I start feeling guilty. I start feeling like, oh no, now I need, now I feel like I should read tarot every single free moment of my day. But I mean, I can't do that. <laughs> I only read for myself. I don't read for anybody else. So I have I don't read, and I only have that many things to read about. You know, some days I don't have anything that I want to know. Or I don't feel like reading anything for myself. So a lot of the days my decks stand uh, just sit here unused. And I start feeling like why am I throwing all of my money at these decks? Um, 
but yeah they do give me joy and they do give they they have given me uh, this lovely community uh, to be a part of so I am not complaining not at all um just feeling a little bit of deck overwhelm um because that is a thing <laughs> um so yeah please let me know um if you have any questions at all I'm really happy to 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 answer them for you um so yeah thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves be well my friends and I'll see you in my next video bye